We spoke earlier of the fact that the NIV translators rejected the Textus Receptus and used the Nestle's text instead. So what is the story behind the Nestle's text? In 1898, a man named Eberhard Nessel would combine the Greek texts of Westcott and Hort, Tischendorf and Richard Francis Weymouth. Over the next 100 years, this Nessel's text would go through various editions and is known today as the Nessel Alan 27th edition. Now let's take a look at some of the men and women who have been involved in producing this Greek text. In 1952, a German named Kurt Alan would join the Nessel's team. He would assist in producing new editions of the Nessel's Greek text, his final being the 25th edition. He would eventually be joined by his wife, Barbara. I believe this photo shows who Kurt Aland was really serving. Now let's look at another man who was involved with the Nestle's text. His name is Bruce Metzger. Bruce Metzger was a professor at Princeton Theological Seminary. He was also one of the creators of the New Revised Standard Version. At his death in 2007, Princeton Theological Seminary would write, In 1993, Bruce Metzger presented a copy of the New Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition to Pope John Paul II at the Vatican. Bruce Metzger understood and was passionate about the significance of biblical translation for ecumenical dialogue. This article goes on to say, In 1972, he chaired the subcommittee that translated 3rd and 4th Maccabees and Psalm 151 for an expanded version of the Apocrypha. He personally presented this expanded version to His All Holiness Demetrius I in 1976. It was important to him that Roman Catholic, Greek Orthodox, and Protestant Christians be able to have recourse to a common biblical text as an instrument of unity. Here we see Demetrius I listed with Catholic priests. It is no secret that the Orthodox Church has been working with Roman Catholicism for a very long time. In this article, Archbishop Demetrius is said to be teaching at a Roman Catholic Jesuit University. Here we see the current Greek Orthodox Patriarch, Bartholomew I, meeting with Nancy Pelosi. In this article, we can see what he is working to accomplish. His All Holiness has worked tirelessly for reconciliation among Christian churches and acquired an international reputation for raising environmental awareness throughout the world. He has worked to advance reconciliation with the Roman Catholic Church and the Anglican Communion as well as other confessions through theological dialogues and personal encounters with respective leaders in order to address issues of common concern. Why would a supposed Christian like Bruce Metzger work with and for these enemies of Jesus Christ? Now let's take a look at another member of the Nestle's team. His name is Carlo Maria Martini and he is a Jesuit priest. In April of 2005, the BBC ran this article where they claimed that if elected, Cardinal Martini would be the first Jesuit to become Pope. However, a few weeks later, Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger was chosen as the next Pope instead of Martini. On page 45 of the Nestle's 27th edition, we read, the text shared by these two editions was adopted internationally by Bible societies and following an agreement between the Vatican and the United Bible Societies, it has served as the basis for new translations and for revisions made under their supervision. This marks a significant step with regard to interconfessional relationships. It should naturally be understood that this text is a working text in the sense of a century-long Nestle tradition. It is not to be considered as definitive but as a stimulus to further efforts towards defining and verifying the text of the New Testament. For many reasons, however, the present edition has not been deemed an appropriate occasion for introducing textual changes. 
One can only be left to wonder what the Jesuit Cardinal Carlo Martini has planned for the next edition of the Nestle's text. Next, we'll take a look at this Jehovah's Witness Greek interlinear New Testament. On pages 8 through 9, we read about what text is used by the Jehovah's Witnesses to produce their corrupt New World translation. The Greek text that we have used as the basis for the New World translation is accepted. Westcott and Hort text 1881 by reason of its acknowledged excellence but we have also taken into consideration other texts including those prepared by D. Eberhard Nessel, the Spanish Jesuit scholar Jose Maria Bover, and another Jesuit scholar A. Merck, the UBS text of 1975 and the Nessel Alan text of 1979 were consulted to update the critical apparatus of this edition. The preface of this Catholic New American Bible shows that they also use the Nestle's text as the basis for their translation. It is important for you the viewer to realize that if you have a Bible version produced since 1881 then it can be traced back to this corrupt Nestle's Greek text.